Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Joining off, we were just chatting a little bit about she's only here for a few days and she's at Masters Gallery and you can actually meet her today from 4 until 8. And I had a chance to talk with you last night and it was really interesting just to wander through. We were just looking at some of your Aspen paintings, but you've kind of moved into a new direction with your Tuscany paintings. Yes, I actually, I, I do them at the same time, sort of, so I go yeah. from one to another, and sometimes I do need that excitement of being in an exotic place, and I don't paint on location, so from my travels, I just bring uh, pencil drawings, a little bit of sketches that I put around my studio, and I look at them, and then I feel really inspired. Yeah. It's more of my reflection of the travel, and uh, I'm trying to recreate that feeling of being somewhere away, but then creating this idyllic window in yeah. my wall where I would love to be there. It's not necessarily that corner of this street and that street, but more of what it felt like to be away and to watch the walls go by. And you know, when you're in Mediterranean, the sky looks much brighter mm -hmm. and the fruits taste different and the smells of the flowers are different yeah. as well. It's very intense and I want to feel that rather than portraying exactly that corner Oh, that's what you know. I was actually when I looked at one of your paintings before I knew that it was Tuscany. I said that feels like Italian light, and I know nothing really about art, but it felt like the light that you would see when you're in the Mediterranean, or that yeah. rich sort of warm. It evoked such a warm feeling for us. Absolutely. Actually, the latest series I painted were from Greece for my latest travel, okay. and it was exactly the same intense emotion of the sky and the water and the buildings and the, 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 the blues actually are quite fascinating from Greece as well. So one of these paintings is on display right now, my latest painting well, from Greece. Well, that's wonderful. Let's take a look at some of these paintings so we can see. And again, most of these, you, can, you, wanna, you almost want to touch them. This isn't one of the location shots, but it is the flowers. This is beautiful yeah. too. Well, I actually love flowers and I love fruit. And again, there has fluidity in it and it, the flowers are never quite the same. Every time you look at them, you find different colors in the same flower. And mm -hmm. that's very exciting to me. Yeah, and this is great. It just kind of comes to life. And this is almost, it's a large painting. Actually, it is, it, it is, yes. This actually, I think it's 30 by 40 painting. So it is a very large painting, but it's still painted in this mosaic tile kind of look. Yeah, and this is beautiful. Where is this? This is this is Tuscany yes. in the rows of hills. And if you look at my composition, the lines actually bring you in the paintings and you never quite leave it. The way I set my lines up is that you run to one row or behind another and visually you always stay in the painting. Mm -hmm. And it always brings you back in. And that's the, the Tuscany as well. And you can, uh, for me, I always create a little story as I paint it and I almost, they're not preconceived so I never quite know what they will be look, looking like. but. It's a story that I would be sitting here having coffee in this cafe, watching the boats. Mm -hmm. I never put people in my painting uh, mm -hmm. for a reason. Actually, I want everybody who looks at it imagining themselves being there rather than watching mm -hmm. someone else's story. Yeah, to absolutely. me, as I paint it, it is my story. Absolutely. And, it's, and when you see this actual painting, I saw this, the reds, that there are tables that we can't see and there's this deep, deep red color again. Yes. Just beautiful yeah. Well, light. I love color to me. It's a very important part of the painting, probably mm -hmm. the most important part. Yeah. That's what I start with. I start every painting as a composition of just colors like the reds and the blues, triangles. Mm -hmm. You look at it and it, it looks like an abstract painting in the beginning. Yeah. And that's how I set it up first, and then objects come secondary. Okay. Well, great. I mean, we can't wait to see the paintings as well from Greece. Those are beautiful, the blues Thank and the whites. You. So we can do that today in, with you in yes. person to talk yes. about it. And it's a lot of fun because yeah. you, you do let us touch the paintings, which is always nice. <laughs> Just mine? Just yours. <laughs> yeah, don't touch the other paintings. No. Okay, so if you'd like to join in the fun today with Maya Evan, we'll be right back. You're watching Good Morning Vale, so stay with us.